Well, 140 years ago, a man named Lawrence Orr was born. He was the seventh child of Alexander and Alice Orr, who were formerly enslaved in what is now the Hickory Grove neighborhood of Charlotte. Orr grew up in a time where black children were forced to go to school miles away from their neighborhoods. And he ended up becoming a pillar in Charlotte's black community, petitioning for new schools for black children in the area. And today he has a school named after him. Hmm. WCNC Charlotte's Shamari Morrison sat down with two of Orr's descendants to talk about how his legacy helped shape access to education for so many students in our area. When you walk into Lawrence or elementary, you see a portrait of the man whose impact is enduring. That's my grandma. These are the great and great great grandchildren of Lawrence Orr. I can't imagine what it was like growing up in that time period where basically you were behind the eight ball just for being black. Orr's immediate family members were enslaved and forced to work the land on which Orr Elementary now sits. He passed away in 1946 and my mother, Queen Norwood Thompson, was a month old when he passed away. Orr believed in land ownership, civic engagement, and the right for all children to have an education. It really took tenacity and it, it took people who would be dedicated to seeing that young people in this area were educated. Orr and other African Americans petitioned the county school board to build four new schools for African American children in the Hickory Grove area and surrounding counties. During that period of time, there were repercussions for going against the grain or for fighting injustice, and people did suffer because of that. However, the, the great story or the great thing about this Endeavor is, it wasn't just one person, it was a group of people who came together. At this school, the students who walk the hallways are reminded of his history everywhere they go. And we really appreciate that, but we have an opportunity during assemblies and when we have um, group time and in our special area classes to be able to let our students know about Mr. Orr and his legacy. Orr's story is the student's legacy. He's just not a person that was self-centered. You know, he took and looked at the big picture and how big that picture is and influenced not just a family, but a community. I mean, his story is bigger than pretty much all of us in this room. But just to know that I come from that lineage and heritage, you know, just be proud to say I am the great grandson of Lawrence Orr. Shamari Morrison, WCNC Charlotte.